God is so good to me. Even on my worst days, I still see his blessings. God is saying to you today, this has been a difficult season. You've been dealing with multiple circumstances and have felt so much pressure. It seems as though before you can get through one thing, another thing happens. Don't give up. I am giving you strength. We will get through this together. Keep praying. Everything will be all right, God says. Don't allow anger to live inside of you any longer. Instead, begin to love. A prayer to start your week. Hey God, please guide my heart this week and develop my character. I refuse to be gifted with no character. I don't want to rush into places unprepared. It's easy to feel behind at times, but I refuse to let the feeling of being behind make me abandon the plans you have for me. At times it feels as if I'm buried under the pressures of life, but I've learned that I'm planted and you're growing in me everything I need to accomplish what we talk about. I'm responsible for my actions, and you're responsible for the outcome. So you be God, and I'll be obedient and keep walking to the places we talk about. Solo Scripture of the Week, Philippians 2-3-4 I am always here to hear your prayers, to comfort you when you are hurting, and to give you guidance when you are lost. Believe that I am guiding you in the proper route while I am walking with you. Be faithful, hopeful, and grounded, my child. God is telling you to be patient right now. I've timed it just right. You're going to adore what I have bigger in store for you, I can assure you of that. Maintain your trust in me, keep hope alive, and meet life's challenges with courage and resilience, because I am always by your side. You are never alone. We no longer possess ownership of the world. We're not involved. We are aware that if we follow God's instructions, He will lead us to complete truth and enable us to live in peace. He will teach us how to perceive things honestly so that our hearts are always in the right place. Sometimes God wants to totally close a door before opening it to fresh opportunities. I am the world's light. Anyone who follows me will never walk in the dark. Instead, they will have access to life's light. God wants us to live in this way in order to always love one another as he loves us. We need to be like him and adopt his nature. I am the peace God. In this planet, I'll have people that respect one another and live in peace. They comprise my kingdom's populace. They hold the keys to the kingdom of God. I am the way, the truth, and the life, declared Jesus. There is no other way to the Father than through me. Perhaps, despite everything, certain doors in your life have closed. Be assured that God is moving you to fulfill his purpose for your life. God is aware of what it takes to make your life orderly. Rely on him. The kingdom of God is more than just a location where people reside. It is also the activities that take place there. The implication is that God is involved in every aspect of our existence. We're all welcomed into this kingdom. We are all invited to join it or leave it behind forever. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.